so a number of you will have come from industries who'd be interested in becoming platforms or converting an existing product or service to platform. A, we have a purpose that we love, and our purpose is to ensure that life is on, everywhere, for everyone, and at every moment. What I'd like to do now is just probably walk you through three lessons, three beliefs, uh, uh, three key ideas that we have when it comes to uh, uh, in Internet of Things and platforms and how we applied it within, within Schneider. The first topic uh, um, is that we see many IT players, you know, taking connected products directly to the cloud. There's a lot of operational technology players taking connected uh, 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 products and connecting them to a control layer. We believe that the three layers that I was mentioning to earlier are, are super important. The, the analogy I like to make you know, is that if you have a very modern car, you want to enjoy all the benefits of the cloud, GPS, location, autopilot, uh, 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 remote diagnosis, whatever. But the day you apply the brakes, you know, you don't want that instruction to do a round trip through the cloud, have latency, being uh, dependent on, on uh, network outage and so forth. I mean, you want a real-time uh, local control loop. So, so we don't oppose, uh, um, we actually believe in convergence of OT and IT. We don't oppose edge and cloud, and we think the two are going to work more and more uh, um, together, actually, on, on having those three levels and having them coordinated and converge is a very important element in the industrial uh, uh, world of IoT. The second belief that we have is closing the loop. I mean, you can, you know, have tons of IoT devices and they're going to generate uh, zillions of signals. That's fine, but then what are you going to do with those signals. I mean, imagine, you know, you have a wonderful predictive maintenance algorithm that are going to give you a maintenance signal on one asset that you have on the field. What are you going to do with that signal, with that event? I mean, you need to trigger that event, and you certainly need to trigger a, a, a service event. So you need to channel it to the right field service engineer, either your service engineer or a partner's a partner field service engineer. Now, that's even better if that field service engineer has the right spare part. And that's even better if he has been trained to perform whatever uh, uh, maintenance operation he has to carry out on that particular uh, uh, machine. So, so we believe that integrating uh, um, the Internet of Things, event management, uh, uh, analytics, uh, uh, and your backend system is super important because it's not only about insight at the end of the day, it's also about actions. And in order to trigger actions and to close the loop, you need to really think about uh, uh, your, your, your platform and your Internet of Things uh, um, architecture from an end-to-end -end perspective. That's what we call closing the loop, and that's the second strong belief that we have. And the third belief that we have is where are you closing the loop? Uh, it was very interestingly mentioned in the previous panel. I mean, you traditionally have those big control rooms with multiple screens, etc. We think that tomorrow you're going to close the loop much more in the field. I mean, mobility is one of the big technology trends uh, that we all uh, learned about, right? So that's where we think that uh, uh, AR, uh, uh, um, you know, augmented reality, mixed reality is going to be super important because actually you want to close the loop on the field with, you want to open to empower the operators that are as close as possible uh, uh, to, your, to your process.